Hello again everyone, Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song Someone Great by LCD Sound System. This is part of my ongoing series where I'm listening to songs that come from albums that are on Rolling Stone Magazine's list of the 500 greatest albums of all time. For those who aren't aware, the way I, I do it is I'll uh, do reaction videos for two songs out of the album and then uh, eventually I'll come back and, and, you know, listen to the rest of the album on my own, and I'll come back and let you know what I thought. So uh, this is actually the second song that I've heard now, or I'm about to hear now, from this album, Sound of Silver, which is number 433 on the list. Um, the first song being All My Friends, which I really, really enjoyed. I thought that was a great song. So looking forward to this one. Uh, Rolling Stone did say it was a synth-pop breakup lament. So, you know, kind of strapping in for that, but let's jump into it. LCD Sound System, someone great. Here we go.
I like that a whole lot. <laughs> that song was fantastic. Um, I was not expecting, you know, when I read the little Rolling Stone thing that said this was a, you know, um, a synth pop breakup lament. I was expecting something a little bit more melancholy sounding in the in the instrumentation, but rather this song was just so good. I mean, it was there were so many great pieces to it and that that like melody throughout was just incredible. I mean, really great song. So, let's break it down piece by piece like we always do. Of course, starting with the lyrics. It does say here someone great is written about the death of James Murphy's therapist. Interesting. Okay, it is one of the record's soaring high points, a fluid exchange of downtrodden rhythm and glistening sense led by James Murphy's warm mo monotonic croon. The track's emotive, minimalist, flickering builds to a saddening, accepting end. The production is also sampled briefly beginning at 917 on their Nike-commissioned exercise song, 4533. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So, let's look at those lyrics. I wish that we could talk about it, but there's, uh, but there, that's the problem. Uh, with someone new, I couldn't start it. Too late for beginnings. The little things that made me nervous are gone in a moment. I miss the way we used to argue locked in your basement. Uh, you know, it, it mentioned that it's about like the death of his therapist. I think that you could also definitely read this as like a breakup. Um, I wake up and the phone is ringing surprised as it's early, and that should be a perfect warning that something's a problem. To tell the truth, I saw it coming the way you were breathing, but nothing can prepare you for it. The voice on the other end. The worst is all the lovely weather. I'm stunned it's not raining. The coffee isn't even bitter because what's the difference? There's all the work that needs to be done. It's late for revision. There's all the time and all the planning and songs to be finished. So I really like that third verse. Uh, the worst is all the lovely weather. I'm stunned it's not raining. You know, like you, you watch a movie, you watch TV shows. When someone dies, it's always raining. and it's, it's always dark and dim and whatever else, right? But that's not how real life works, you know? Like sometimes someone dies and the love and the weather is just lovely, you know? Or you get broken up with and it's like, man, it's so lovely outside, but I'm so sad. Or, you know, you expect food to lose its taste or you expect, you know, the coffee to be extra bitter just because you are in that like deep and dark mindset. But it's not like life is sort of going on and there are still pleasantries in life regardless of the fact that you feel just so down from from that loss you know which i think is just amazing writing here in the lyricism honestly um and ultimately it's like there's almost no time to lament to mourn because there's work that needs to be done right all the planning all the songs to be finished uh, and it keeps coming and it keeps coming till the day it stops and it keeps coming till the day it stops I wish that we could talk about it, but there, that's the problem with someone new. I couldn't start it. Too late for beginnings. You're smaller than my wife imagined. Surprised you were human. There shouldn't be this radio silence, but what are the options? So yeah, I mean, at first I kind of went into this again, imagining that it was a breakup. And so I, I saw this line, like, you're smaller than my wife imagined. Surprised you were human. I thought that was like a uh, very interesting line, because again, I thought it was like a breakup, but... It, it makes a lot more sense than the fact that it was like about somebody dying. Uh, I think that the lyrics throughout are, are I don't want to say vague enough, but open-ended enough that you could read this, I think, partially as a breakup song, except for like, you know, lines like that. Those are kind of like, that. those stick out as like, okay, maybe it's not about a breakup. But I, I think it is written in a way that, that really conveys loss in general. And again, in this sense, it's loss as in like the death of somebody that you were presumably close to or that you at least knew, right? Um, but because it does such a good job, I think, of talking about loss in the lyricism, you know, it, you could almost apply some of these lines to to losses of other kinds. Again, a friend stops talking to you, you lose a friend, uh, break up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, obviously, there are some I think more pointed lines that kind of point to uh, something different. So, when someone great is gone, 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 uh, we're safe for the moment, saved for the moment saved for the moment yeah great great lyricism again it's it's pointed enough that it's like oh it's about somebody dying it's about losing somebody in that regard um but i think there's still some openness to it where it's like it, it can be about loss in general i think there's a lot of great lines that a lot of people probably relate to and so for that i mean really well written i'm giving it two big thumbs up lyrically as far as instrumentation and vocals go again like i like this guy's vocal style i think um I forget, I don't know his name, but uh, he, he sounds great vocally. I think he has this style that 
uh, I think really speaks to me and it really uh, kind of goes really well with the type of music that they make and that I've heard from them so far. Um, and I got to say that uh, I love the way that he, uh, his voice matched the melody coming from like that, that's, I don't know if it was a synth or a xylophone or what that instrument was, I, for, I forgot. It mentioned in the about section, but I already forgot uh, what I read that it was. Um, glistening synths led by James Warman. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see if they have anything in the credits real quick. Sorry, before I move on. I just want to see uh, what all was involved in the creation of this song. So obviously some synthesizer, which I liked throughout. The glockenspiel. I don't know what a glockenspiel is, unfortunately. I wonder if that was the great sound that I heard throughout that. Ding, 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 ding. You know, that whole thing was, like, really nice. I don't know. Instrumentally, vocally, this song was, was solid. I think it, uh, again, I was expecting a little bit, something a little bit more melancholy, but those chimes or xylophone or keyboard keys whatever it was that was making that sound was just so bright sounding that it again i think it speaks to like verse three of the song where it's like you want to be down you want to be you know you, you've lost someone close to you and it's like the world around you should be darker but it's not and i feel like that comes across in the instrumentation right that the instrumentation feels a little bit brighter poppier uh, almost sunny um when the lyricism is a little bit darker, right? Well, a lot darker than that, which I'm always a sucker for, by the way. I love when artists can uh, convincingly and, and meaningfully, like, take brighter, poppier, catchier, like, instrumentation, but uh, layer it on top of lyricism that is kind of darker and deeper and, and stuff like that. So I, I always, I'm a sucker for that, and they do that fantastically here. So all that to say, uh, instrumentally, vocally, two big thumbs up for me as well. As far as replay value goes, I mean, it's a no-brainer. This one is making the playlist. Can't wait to listen to it again. It was just such a great, great song to listen to today. Um, yeah, I had a great time. So two big thumbs up for replay value. Overall, a fantastic song. And another great entry into this series. And that's two songs from the album. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So with all that said, guys, if you enjoyed the music as much as I did, of course, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can and if you enjoyed what you saw here on the channel today consider supporting the channel you know do all the stuff you do on youtube like and subscribe and comment you can even check the description if you'd like to follow me on twitch tiktok or instagram all right guys that's going to be it for me i hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one bye for now